The film commences in 1944, amidst the turmoil of World War II, within Germany. Indiana Jones, played by Harrison Ford, finds himself captured by a group of Nazis led by Colonel Weber, portrayed by Thomas Kretschmann, who mistakenly suspect him of espionage. They condemn him to a hanging, but their plans are abruptly disrupted when a bomb plummets into their base, causing chaos and providing Indy with an opportunity to break free. Indy's colleague, Oxford Professor Basil Shaw, depicted by Toby Jones, is also held captive. Indy commandeers a vehicle and embarks on a mission to intercept a train transporting Basil, all while engaging in intense confrontations with Nazi adversaries. The Nazis have laid hands on the lance of Longinus, believing it could tip the scales in their favor in the war. However, upon Indy's arrival, both he and Weber's second-in-command, Jürgen Voller, played by Mads Mikkelsen, realize that the lance is a mere replica. Voller also possesses the Antikythera, known as the Archimedes Dial. Indy combats a wave of Nazis before successfully rescuing Basil and securing the dial. Weber pursues them onto the train's rooftop, leading to a fierce showdown between him and Indy. Ultimately, Basil intervenes, shooting Weber and allowing Indy to dispatch him from the train. Voller continues the pursuit but is ultimately knocked off the train. Indy and Basil make a daring leap just before the Allies destroy the bridge. Fast forward to 1969, Indy awakens on the day of the Apollo 11 moon landing. He resumes his role as a professor at Hunter College, where his disinterested students reluctantly listen to his lecture on the Battle of Sicily and Archimedes' work. A young woman named Helena, portrayed by Phoebe Waller-Bridge, actively participates in the lecture. Following the class, Indy stumbles into a retirement party held in his honor, while Helena discreetly follows him. Unbeknownst to her, a CIA agent named Mason, depicted by Seanette Renee Wilson, tails Helena and reports to her superior, Voller, who miraculously survived and now operates under the alias Schmidt at NASA, alongside other Nazis including Kleber, played by Boyd Holbrook, and the formidable Hauke, portrayed by Olivier Richters. Their mission is to obtain the dial, believing it holds the key to altering history in favor of the Nazis. Helena catches up with Indy, who initially doesn't recognize her but soon realizes she is Basil's daughter and, therefore, his goddaughter. They sit down to discuss her archaeological pursuits, including her quest for the other half of the dial in Tangier, despite the fact that unlocking its mysteries drove Basil to madness. Despite his reservations, Indy agrees to provide Helena with the piece of the dial that Basil had kept. Indy leads Helena to a storage room at the college, but Voller's henchmen close in. Kleber and Hauke eliminate two of Indy's colleagues before cornering Indy and Helena. In a desperate move, Indy topples a row of shelves, crushing one of the Nazis, allowing Helena to escape with half of the dial. Indy is captured but manages to evade the Nazis in the midst of a moon landing parade, using a horse to make his escape. Kleber and Hauke pursue him relentlessly. Indy takes the horse through subway tunnels, narrowly escaping his pursuers before boarding a train himself. Indy finds himself framed for the murders of the two professors but is rescued by his old friend Sala, portrayed by John Rhys Davis. After reminiscing about their past adventures, Indy believes his days of exploration are over, but Sala persuades him otherwise. He accompanies Indy to the airport, providing valuable insights about the individuals Helena is about to encounter. Indy arrives at a Tangier casino owned by a criminal figure named Big Rahim. His son, Aziz Rahim, played by Allah Safi, harbors grievances against Helena, believing she jilted him. Indy infiltrates a private auction attended by Helena, where she attempts to sell her half of the dial. He intervenes, leading to a confrontation with the other attendees, a group of criminals who open fire. Indy and Helena make their escape, accompanied by Helena's young sidekick, Teddy Kumar, depicted by Ethan Isidore. However, Voller and his henchmen track them down and seize the dial. The trio must now evade Rahim and his gang as they pursue them on a tuk-tuk, while simultaneously being pursued by the Nazis. Although they manage to shake off Rahim, Voller and his men are taken into custody by Mason and her team, though not before Kleber shoots her and aids Voller in hijacking her plane to continue their relentless search. Indy and Helena are aware that a tablet, crucial for locating the other half of the dial, is hidden somewhere in the Aegean Sea near Athens. To embark on this quest, they seek assistance from Indy's friend and ship captain, Rinaldo, played by Antonio Banderas, who agrees to take them on a boat expedition. As they prepare for their underwater journey, Helena questions Indy about his intentions for using the dial. 
he confides that he would use it to prevent his son, Mutt, from enlisting in the Vietnam War, an event that deeply shattered him and strained his relationship with Marion, portrayed by Karen Allen, leading to their impending divorce. Together with Ronaldo, Indy and Helena Venture Underwater, facing challenges like menacing eels, which Indy finds as unnerving as snakes. Eventually, they succeed in retrieving the tablet from a sunken ship. Unfortunately, the Nazis also track them down, cutting off their oxygen supply and forcing them to resurface. During their interrogation for the tablet's location, Valor shoots and kills Ronaldo when he tries to protect Indy. Valor attempts to persuade Helena to join their cause with diamonds, but she secretly possesses a stick of dynamite, which Indy helps her ignite, creating an opportunity for their escape. As they sail away, Indy mourns Ronaldo's death, but Helena reveals that the Nazis remain unaware of the tomb of Archimedes' location, which holds the dial's other half. Indy examines the tablet, melting its wax coating to reveal a golden plate that can guide them to the tomb's whereabouts. Their journey takes them to Sicily, where Teddy separates from the group but is eventually captured by the pursuing Nazis, who have been shadowing them. Indy and Helena witness Teddy's abduction and attempt to follow the Nazis after stealing a wedding car. They all converge at the same cave housing the tomb. Teddy is handcuffed to Hauke, whose weight causes a footbridge to collapse, sweeping them away in the current. Teddy manages to acquire Hawk's keys, leaving him trapped to drown while he escapes from the Nazis. Indy and Helena discover the tomb and find the dial in the hands of Archimedes, along with a surprising discovery, a wristwatch. Helena deduces that Archimedes had the ability to travel through time, just as Valor arrives once more. Valor reveals his plan to travel back in time and assassinate Hitler, believing he can rewrite history in favor of the Nazis. He combines the two dial halves. Valor forces Indy onto a plane with him, intending to ride through a storm that will activate the dial's portal. Helena sneaks onto the plane, while Teddy hotwires another aircraft, unaware that the pilot is asleep inside. Indy informs Valor that he didn't account for continental drift, which means they won't end up at the start of World War II. It's too late for Valor to change course, as both planes pass through a portal, transporting them to the siege of Syracuse. After dispatching more Nazis, Indy and Helena grab parachutes and jump from the plane, just as Roman soldiers start firing at them. Valor and Kleber meet their end when their plane crashes in a fiery blaze. Archimedes himself, played by Nasser Mamarzia, witnesses the planes and discovers the wreckage. He retrieves the dial from Valor's body, along with his watch, the same one Indy and Helena found earlier. Archimedes and his pupil find Indy and Helena, realizing that their invention was always meant to transport the user to this precise time and place. Indy expresses a desire to remain in this era, wanting to be part of history and feeling that he has no future back home. However, Helena knocks him unconscious and boards him onto the plane with Teddy. Indy awakens in his apartment once more, surprised to find Marion arriving with Helena, Teddy, Salah, and his grandchildren. They leave Indy and Marion alone for a private reconciliation, and it becomes clear that Marion still needs him. They share a kiss. The film concludes with Indy's iconic hat hanging out to dry, ending on an iris around the hat, only for Indy to grab it. No.